Today we will be discussing Sundial Growers and some upcoming catalysts that they have. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. So I made a video on Sundial Growers a few weeks back and you might have already seen it if you are seeing this video, but if you haven't, it'll be in a card right now. I don't know where to point, uh, but it is easily our most viewed video by about triple the views. So I obviously had to make another video giving you guys some updates on the stock because you really enjoyed the last one. And don't worry, I'm not going to bring up Wall Street Bets at all. That is the only time I will mention that name in this video because I know you guys really don't like when I mention their name. In today's video, I'm going to let you guys know how I feel about the stock now, whether or not I think that short sellers are right or wrong, and I'll be giving you guys some technical analysis at the end. But before we talk about Sundial Growers and its potential for a trade this week, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a comment of your favorite stock of the moment, why it's your favorite stock of the moment, and to also leave a like and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. But without further ado, let's get into ticker symbol SNDL or Sundial Growers. Sundial Growers is a Canadian cannabis company that engages in the production and distribution of flower pre-rolls and vapes. They have federally regulated license to sell this type of flower i don't know if i'm allowed to say that on youtube so i'm just going to be careful and these federally regulated licenses are issued by health canada in which they are currently in good standing so that's what you love to see they currently have a market cap of about 2 billion flat and an average trading volume of about 300 million trades per day today they had a relatively low trading volume of about only 245 million trades that is so absurd to say as you guys know 300 million trades per day is insane and the fact that 245 million trades is an off day for sundial growers is absolutely mind-blowing but hey for some reason people just love sundial growers more than any other company i can think of at the moment as i said in the last video i do believe that sundial growers has great long-term growth potential but I do think that short sellers could have an argument for it doing bad in the short term. As of right now, there's about a 30% short interest in Sundial Growers. The only reason that the short interest could be this high is because of their terrible financials. As of Q3 of 2020, they have about 87 million current assets versus 140 million non-current assets. If you didn't know the difference between current assets and non-current assets, let me explain real quick. A current asset is an asset that a company believes could be liquidated within 12 months, while a non-current asset is an asset that the company doesn't believe will be liquidated within the next 12 months. I don't like the ratio of current assets to non-current assets at the moment, but it wouldn't be as bad if they didn't have $121 million in debt right now, which is completely drowning them. The positive of this though is that they've been paying down their debt over the past four quarters, and they are not going in the wrong direction with paying their debt off. They are actually paying their debt off. Now Sundial Growers having a bad balance sheet is a solid argument for why it could go down in the short term, but I do disagree that Sundial Growers will go down in the short term. The reason I disagree that they will go down in the short term is because they have 300 million trading volume and have an earnings call coming up next Wednesday on March 17th. As long as they don't blow it on this earnings call, those 300 million trades will most likely be mostly buys. This could send Sundial Growers on a rocket with any remotely good news coming from that earnings call. The consensus earnings per share estimate for sundial growers that i see is about negative three cents uh, which would be a dollar improvement year over year and would continue the upward trend that sundial growers has been seeing with their earnings per share i think as long as sundial growers continues to pay their debt down and they at least meet or beat their earnings per share estimate in this upcoming earnings call they could go crazy Wednesday. Short sellers should be completely scared of this earnings call in my opinion. And that's an unprofessional opinion just by the way. And before we get to my overall thoughts on Sundial Growers, let's head over to my computer to do some technical analysis. All right, so what's up guys? We are now on the computer and we can do some technical analysis. As you can see, um, when I made the video last time, I actually did some technical analysis on that as well. Um, but here we go. So 
the stock is trading above the 180 day SMA line, but this is on the hour. I usually, when I'm swing trading, I usually trade on the five minute interval, if you guys didn't know. Um, I do like to trade when the stock is below the 180 day SMA line. If you have been watching, you know that's how I trade pretty much. Um, I do like to see the RSI hit 30, um, and I do think it can. I don't wanna see um, Sundial to break um, $1.40, um, and I don't see them doing that come Monday because obviously it's Friday we won't be seeing trading till Monday but as long as it stays above $1.40 and it hits the 30 RSI which I think if it opens at about $1.41 I think that'll be perfect um, but what we're gonna want to see on Monday is uh, obviously green volume um, and then for the blue line to start crossing over the orange line on the MACD to signify an upward trend and for the RSI to be on an upward trend as well and if it could open you know just at one dollar and 41 cents that would be ideal if it does open at like one dollar and 41 cents and a half cents um, then I think that could work as well um, but overall um, this isn't too far off from a buy for me. Um, now, will I buy? I'm not too sure at the moment. I might want to just wait for earnings to see if they do beat. I think there is a chance they miss because they have missed on four of their last five earnings calls. But if they do beat, I think this stock could go to the moon. So I think the risk reward ratio is there. Um, but as for a buy, I'm looking to buy more at the $1.41 type of area. Um, but you know, it'll depend on what happens Monday morning on what I do, but that is what I'm looking for. If it could open at $1.41, that'll be perfect for me. But that is going to be it for my technical analysis, so I'll send you to get my overall thoughts on the stock now. As for my overall thoughts on Sundial Growers, as time has gone on and I have seen the interest in this stock just only go up, uh, I actually have changed my tune a bit. Before, I was pretty moderate. But I actually have been thinking about building a small position on Sundial Growers because I have seen that they are paying their debt down. And if I can see something positive come from this earnings call on next Wednesday, I'll think about maybe taking a small position on it. But I want to remind you guys that that is not financial advice. Just because I might take a small position on it does not mean you should. I am just a random guy talking about stocks on the internet. If you do want professional financial advice, uh, you can't get it here, but you can get it from a professional financial advisor so you can seek one out but if you are interested in buying this stock and you have not made an account with Weeble yet what are you doing you got to get in the pre-market and after hours with us all you got to do is make an account deposit hundred dollars and you can get two free stocks worth up to one thousand eight hundred fifty dollars and now for comments of the day y'all comment and I'll pick one of your comments for comment of the day or in this case I'll pick two of your comments because that's what I did today today's comments of the day are coming from Alfred and Erica and Alfred said can you make a video on UAMY? Question mark. I think it's very intriguing and could have huge potential with the EV boom. And Erica said, yes, I'd love that too. Thanks for your comment, Alfred and Erica. We will definitely put UAMY on our short list of stocks to do videos on. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please comment, like, and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it shows we're doing something right here. But my name is Zach and I will see you in the next video. Dope. Dope, dope, dope.